Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Sunday the 3rd of September 2023 and we're looking at this Joy Toy Dark Source Jiang Hu, great master of Zhongxi Tomb, Yunhi Lin, I believe. Excuse my pronunciation. Let's get a look at the box. Very nice. Got a bit of a drunken master vibe going on there does look really really quite cool do like the look of that the back get a look at his face some of the details looks good i wonder how he's going to pose though it appears like some of the poses might be quite difficult for him to do we'll have a look in a moment please consider joining the patreon link in the top right of the screen now get to see all the uploads when they're put online before they're published on youtube so no longer need to wait for three days, three weeks, three months, and longer sometimes, plus there are other benefits, and you can cancel any time in the first seven days, and it will not cost you a penny, so it is worth checking out. Okay, I'll be back in an instant with this guy set up. Stay tuned. Okay, here he is, and he can do a nice kick. <laughs> very, very cool. Great looking figure, I've got to say. Uh, he comes with three pairs of alternate hands. He comes with the standard right and left fist. He comes with right and left sort of a open-ish, almost gripping-ish hands here. He also comes with a left opposite to what he's got now, which is the right sort of a, almost like a trigger finger hand. And he comes with the opposite to what he's got now. So he comes with a right gripping hand, which he's got the left gripping hand on at the moment. Uh, no bases with these foot bases for these figures. Fortunately, they can balance quite well. Let's get a close look. Let's bring him in. <laughs> nice sculpt. I do like that head sculpt. Could do perhaps a little bit of inking in the hair, but does look good. Big bushy eyebrows. Loads of things he's got around his waist there. Back is a bit ugly in the legs, you can see, but you know that's covered most of the time. Front is not too bad with the knees, great big kneecaps. Now, I just thought these have to make some sort of decent profit purely because the sculpts are unique almost to each one. Or, you know, not all unique, but they are relatively unique to the figures that come out, so they have to be turning a profit in order to keep making them. And I can I can see why they do keep making them. They are actually fantastic figures. I love the look of him. Let's look at articulation. It's not going to be great in certain areas, but it makes up for it in stiffness of joints and the way he looks. So head first of all, side to side, forwards, backwards is amazing, and he can turn as well. Shoulders all the way around. Outwards, he's getting flat. Biceps, he's getting about 90 degrees, and then he's got the... Uh, joint on the hand we have to line up the joint to make it move trunk forwards backwards side to side he can turn waist i'm getting only a trunk movement in there looks like waist there's movement too so together forwards not great backwards is pretty fantastic to be fair check that out and sideways is good and not bad. Um, legs don't go as far as I like for a martial artist. That's pretty much it on the sideways. But he can balance if he if you uh, get the angle right on his uh, feet. Forwards is not great, and backwards is okay. And then he's got a double kneecap, very chunky indeed. Look at that, super, super tight on his knees. And it's not too ugly underneath. And then the feet, there is no boot turn that I can see. They could have put on in, but he does have the swivel left, right. He does have a small tippy toe, and he does have a decent dorsiflexation. But he does pose well, you know. You can do that side kick if you get the foot twist right so hopefully that's about right there there you go boom very very cool in fact if i uh you see how 
tall he is, not a big action figure, but should be compared with all our other 118 skills. He is chunky though, especially his bottom half. So height wise, we can see that he is around about, top of the heads are around just under 10 and a half I think, and to the top of the hair is around about 11, so standard for modern 118 scale figures. If I compare them to a Marvel Universe uh, Hand Ninja, I think. I've got a couple of these. They're pretty cool sculpts, but the figure itself is pretty bad. Could have been a lot better in terms of articulation and whatnot. But will he stand up for me? See that he is tall. He is a, not as tall as the Marvel Universe, but he's a damn sight more, more chunky. If I compare him to one of his fellow... Jiang Hu figures, the excellent monk. See that he's a bit shorter than the monk, but he's old, he might expect that. But again, they are proportioned very well with each other. And let me compare them to a Fortnite. I've got a Fortnite, is it? Oh my god, it's been so long since I've uh, seen this figure. Stick him there. I've got the uh, black knight head in him, and you see that they scale quite well too he is a nice all-round figure i do have to say i love the fact that he can despite not being very flexible he can hold that kick position if you get the foot right and at the foot the ankle joint is actually stiff enough for him to uh to hold it when he sort of get his head in the position his hands too Well, that do it. Let's have a look. Like he's in, like he's in the fall over. <sighs> but he does do it very, very nicely. So that's pretty cool. Another great release from the uh, Jang Hu line. I really do love this line a lot. It's one of my favourite lines from Joy Toy. Um, I know everyone's sort of all in or talking about the 40k. I love the 40k stuff too, but I think there's loads of other stuff that they do, which is fantastic. And his Janku line is right up there. <clears throat> Very cool figure. A nice release again from Joy Toy. More of this, please. Okay, so awesome actually signing out. So please like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon link in the video description below. And I'll see you next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.